Where can I get a loan for $300 to buy equipment? Steve Hansen here, co founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. So, you know, lately I've been seeing a lot of uh, questions on Facebook, and I've had some people even message me asking how they can get a loan to buy equipment when they've only been in business for a couple of months. Well, you know, um, there's a few different things that you can do. You know, first of all, when we start a cleaning company, it does take a little bit of money. Um, you know, we can't go in there with zero money at all. Uh, we have to have a bank account. We have to, have, you know, we have to be able to register our business, and all those things cost money. Um, so, um, you know, you should establish a, a business bank account, and you know, you could have <clears throat> as little, <clears throat> you could have as little as five hundred dollars in there, but you got to have something. So here's the strategy that you can use. So the bank that you have your uh, your checking account or your savings business savings account in, you want to go there and you want to talk to the loan officer about getting a loan for three hundred dollars, you know, to buy some supplies. Now what you're going to do is that you're going to say that I want a loan for three hundred dollars and I'm going to put up my collateral, my savings account for collateral. So really, that's a really a no-brainer for that for that loan officer. The you know it's a guaranteed loan. You've got the three hundred dollars in your in your savings account, your business savings. So so they'll probably be more than happy to give you that loan based off of you putting that up as equity, which is a good idea. It's a great way to start build a credit and so on and so forth. So you go ahead and you 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 do the deal and let's say um, let's say it's for six months. Uh, you decide to get a loan for six months and you'll pay it back. And so that's what you do. So And what you can do is that you can get that loan for $300 and then um, if need be, you can take your payments out of your, your uh, business account you know, to make the payments. But in either case, make sure that the payments are made and that you're, you're paid on time and or early. I would suggest that you pay it off early. So now once that's done, now you go back to your bank and uh, you ask them again for another loan. Well, maybe this time here we're going to ask for a thousand dollars, and maybe in our bank account we have, you know, we still have five hundred or or, or six hundred dollars in our business savings. Well, we're going to ask for a thousand, and now that we've uh, established uh, some credit and they see that we're paying it off, uh, they'll probably go ahead and give us the loan. Well, this time here we're going to get a thousand dollars, and we're going to uh, we're going to pay it back in uh, one year time. So with that being said, again, we want to make sure that we make our payments consistently, on time, every time, every month, and, um, and we do that, and hopefully in some cases we pay that off on 11 months or 10 months, uh, but we paid off the loan for $1,000. Again, now this is establishing credit for you. This, that's a simple way of how to do that. Um, so now let's say... Uh, a few a few months have passed, and uh, you've been in business for let's say about a year now. You've actually uh, have built up a little bit more uh, in your savings. So now maybe you've got uh, uh, twelve hundred dollars or a couple thousand dollars in that bank account, um, and now you're going to go to the bank and you're going to probably ask them for a little bit bigger loan. So this time here, and it could be for supplies, equipment, payroll, whatever it may be. But uh, maybe this time you're going to say, well, you know, I'd like to get a loan for uh, $3,000. Again, you want to work your terms so it's, a, so it's affordable to you <clears throat> and that you're able to make, pay back those payments. And, like, and in most cases, like I say, just try to pay them off early because we're trying to establish business credit. So you go ahead and you do that again. So you can see the cycle here. First you start off with a small amount and then you just increase those amounts, um, you know, uh, and just make sure that you pay off the loan, pay it off early, and then build that relationship with the, with your uh, business banker. Um, there'll be a time then that you'll be able to go in there and and ask them for a line of credit. Maybe that line of credit is going to be ten thousand dollars, twenty thousand, fifty thousand, a hundred thousand. You know who knows? It's different for everybody. But generally, when you're starting out, maybe you're going to get a line of credit for ten thousand dollars. Well, now that you've built up that that. Uh, that uh, uh, credit history with them. They know that, you're, that you've been paying things off, you've been doing really, really well, they see your business account. Maybe by this time your business account, maybe it has five or $10,000 in it. You know, uh, but you know, 
at least now you'll be able to go in there and ask for a line of credit, which you'll give a personal guarantee on, uh, meaning that no matter what, it's going to be paid back. Either the business will, if the business can't, then you're going to guarantee that you pay it off yourself personally. And uh, let's say we're going to get a line of credit for $20,000, and it can be used for you know payroll, uh, supplies, equipment, things like that there. And only use it when you need it. You know, that money is not there just for you to go and go in there and, and buy some fancy, uh, you know, fancy personal item or go on a vacation or something. You're not using it for that. You're using it for business and only use it for an emergency. That's the whole idea of a line of credit. But that's how you would do that in order to establish some business credit. <clears throat> you know, uh, believe me, there will come a time that as you continue to grow your business and be disciplined with your, with your cash and make sure that you always have a reserve in your business, that the banks will be contacting you and asking you to give you money. It, I, I swear that that's what will happen. I've gotten that, gotten that request many, many times. They're wanting, to, they're wanting to give me money. And it's just because of the history of, that I have of, uh, of doing exactly what I've just told you. So if you're looking, uh, looking to, to try to establish some business credit and where you can get a loan uh, to buy some equipment, that's what you can do. That's, that's, it's simple um, and just follow the steps and you'll be fine. You have to build a relationship with a business banker. You, know? uh, you have to. They're part of your support team. So uh, build that, build that uh, uh, relationship with them, show them that you're credit worthy, and uh, you know, show them that you got a little bit of money in the bank. Um, there's, you know, it's not that hard. You just need to be disciplined and do it. You know, don't be like, I would probably say, probably well over 90% of, of companies, uh, even, probably even more than that, don't have a business reserve fund in, in, in the bank. Uh, that, that, that's just unacceptable to, to be in business and not have a, have a, a cash reserve for your business. Um, you know, that's just, you're asking for trouble because you're, you're one paycheck away from not meeting payroll and, and so on and so forth. Um, so be, be disciplined, have that cash reserve in the bank, build it up over time, uh, and uh, you'll thank me later. Uh, there's nothing better than having three months of cash reserve in the bank or even six months or a year cash reserve in the bank to where you're not strapped for cash and wondering where that next dollar's coming from. You know, you just got to be disciplined and, uh, you know, spend your money wisely. Have it work for you. So that's all I've got for that. So hopefully you like this tip. If you have, go ahead and click on the like button, share button. And as always, if you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, uh, you know, we've got hundreds of uh, uh, videos on how to build a successful cleaning company. So, until next time, we'll see you.